from Cheverine in Germany, which is 91,000 million, or sorry, 91,000 people, sorry. And um, also there is uh, Norrköping in, in, in Sweden, which is 88,000 people. And there's also uh, Plauen in Germany, which is 66,000 people. And they're smaller, or, or the same size of Galway, going by the OECD um, classification of cities, which is 50,000 to 100,000. And Galway fits in those uh, perfectly. Uh, so. The population argument, I don't think, makes any sense here. Now, you run this all the way. You bring it in by the docks, but you run it from far out in right through the city, and you, you connect the whole city and county on this. Indeed, and that's the whole idea, to absorb the commuting traffic from the county at, at the four main entry points uh, at the city, which is obviously the airport um, and, and Briar Hill, that area there. Or more, which the park and ride is already built. Can or Carp Village, park and ride, that area there, which is already built. And also... Kappa Road uh, instead of uh, destroying houses. Um, I mean, it's a perfect place to um, facilitate people who want to travel from uh, um, west to east to go to work. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as we know, there's a massive population, the residential population in Knock So, why aren't people listening to Joe Kelly? Um, I think people, I suppose, have been uh, totally uh, mesmerized by the the roads and uh, the, ma the... Do you see this being the alternative to the autobiography? Indeed, this is the counter solution. This is the counter solution, no doubt. Same money. Same money and a lot more value creation at the end, a lot more jobs at the end. Because if you create an economic stimulus and a chief catalyst in the middle where you can create jobs within the service and the services that feed off that, therefore you are creating absolute value creation and you're trying to tackle the three main questions that are part of Galway at the moment, which is we're crippled with congestion, we've got unemployment and a low disposable income, and we're also looking for urban spaces to be reclaimed from the use of high overuse of the car uh, for accommodation and social housing even the dyke road would come into my mind in this situation in terms of reclamation for accommodation um, where we wouldn't need the overuse of the car if we had uh, you bring more people closer to the city i'm saying uh, i would say that's one end but i'm not saying totally i'm saying there are other uh, but it's one, one of many solutions you've yes, come up with. In terms of accommodation, yes. Mm. In regard to accommodation, yes. So where do you go from here? I mean, you've put three years of your life into this. Yeah. Uh, so where do you go with this now? Who can you knock on the door off and say, listen to me, lad? Well, um, we have to obviously follow the, the, the path now in terms of... I've already... Can I rub this one of the, the, the top one there? Because it's, it's a very interesting document. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, 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 if we look at who can we go to now, I suppose we have to follow the... the, the um, the, the kind of the, the pattern of, of what has happened with the transport proposals in Galway at the moment. And I had submitted uh, to on board Planola, but obviously the format and all of that, uh, I, was, I was told yes... You know, but please, can you wait until uh, to make an appeal against um, uh, a highway, to a solely a highway solution? So, on board plan all sent me back to um, sent that back to me. But nevertheless, so you kind of have to wait for people to see that there is a counter solution. 
and that is through um, sustainable public transport, um, which will create value. And ra rather than having the road, who can we go to? Well, there are many places. The government, for a start, I would see that they are under remit from Europe to reduce carbon emissions by 2020. They have to, but they didn't take this seriously. And with due respect to you, they didn't take it seriously before they spent millions putting together what they've put together, the preferred route. I know that, but at the same time, too, uh, I would see that the directives that are coming from the top, which seems to be Europe uh, in regard to transport mm. and in regard of infrastructural development, we have the European Regional Development Fund as well, which usually covers 25%. Finally, you've proven it works in other cities, so why, why not just investigate it more? And uh, indeed, it will keep investigating it. I mean, I, I no, no. I mean, you're done. You've done your job. It's, it's the powers that be that need to listen to you. I know that. Yes, indeed. I, I hope they do. I hope they see sense. Okay. I hope they see sense. All right, uh, Joe Kelly. Where can they get further details? I'm shutting my headphones. Where can they get details on this? Um, if you go on to uh, YouTube. YouTube and you see the Solas or Burkirden on the Galiba system, uh, SUHG, or if you catch it on the Facebook page, the Light Rail for Galway, um, we're, we're very much connected through all of there. Also, there's a, a website. Um, the Atlantic Greenway project which would be the overarching group that look at all of these sustainable mobility okay. solutions well I just Joe Kelly keep up the good work and keep don't, don't let them take the wind out of your sails no they won't <laughs> the wind from behind your train <laughs> maybe even no, you know. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us now the north